Dams are structures built across a stream, a river, or an estuary to retain water. Dams are built to provide water for human consumption, for irrigating arid and semi-arid lands, or for use in industrial processes. They are used for generating hydroelectric power, to reduce peak discharge of flood water, for recharging the underground water table, for navigation of ships and barges and for supplying water for irrigation, residential and commercial purposes. In terms of engineering, dams generally fall into three broad classifications defined by use, structural type and by construction material. Hello and welcome to Engineering Concepts, today we will discuss about classification of dams. The decision as to which type of dam to build largely depends on the foundation conditions in the valley, the construction materials available, the accessibility of the site to transportation networks, and the experiences of the engineers, financiers, and promoters responsible for the project. Classification of dams according to use Dams may be classified according to the broad function they serve, such as storage, diversion, or detention. Refinements of these classifications can also be made by considering the specific functions involved. Storage dams Storage dams are constructed to impound water during periods of surplus supply for use during periods of deficient supply. These periods may be seasonal, annual, or longer. Many small dams impound the spring runoff for use in the dry summer season. Storage dams may be further classified according to the purpose of the storage, such as water supply, recreation, fish and wildlife, hydroelectric power generation, irrigation, etc. Diversion dams Diversion dams are ordinarily constructed to provide head for carrying water into ditches, canals, or other conveyance systems. They are used for irrigation developments, for diversion from a live stream to an off-channel location storage reservoir, for municipal and industrial uses, or for any combination of the above. Detention dams Detention dams are constructed to retard flood runoff and minimize the effect of sudden floods. Detention dams consist of two main types. Flow-through dam is a type of dam in which the water is temporarily stored and released through an outlet structure at a rate that does not exceed the carrying capacity of the channel downstream. Water spreading dam. It is often called a water spreading dam or dike. It holds the water as long as possible and allows to seep into pervious banks or into the foundation for the purpose of recharging the underground water tables. Debris dams. Some detention dams are constructed to trap sediments, these are often called debris dams. Classification of dam by hydraulic design. Dams may also be classified as overflow or no overflow dams. Overflow dams are designed to carry discharge over their crests or through spillways along the crest. Concrete is the most common material used for this type of dam. No overflow dams are those designed and not to be overtopped. This type of design extends the choice of materials to include earthfill and rockfill dams. Often the two types are combined to form a composite structure consisting of, for example, an overflow concrete gravity dam with earthfill dikes. Classification of dam by construction materials. The most common classification used for the discussion of design procedures is based upon the materials used to build the structure. This classification also usually recognizes the basic type of design, for example, the th concrete gravity dam or the th concrete arch dam. The most common types of dams constructed today are earth fill, rock fill, and concrete gravity dams. Other types include concrete arch, concrete buttress, and timber dams. Earth fill dams. Earth fill dams are the most common type of dam principally because their construction involves the use of materials from required excavations and the use of locally available natural materials requiring a minimum of processing. Earth-fill dams will continue to be more prevalent than other types due to positive economic factors related to an earth-fill dam. Also, the foundation and topographical requirements for earth-fill dams are less stringent than those for other types. 
Earth fill dams can be constructed by filling the soil either by hydraulic, semi hydraulic method or spreading and compaction by rolling the soil fill in layers. With the development of modern excavating, hauling, and compacting equipment for earth materials, has made the rolled fill type so cost effective as to almost replace the semi hydraulic fill and hydraulic fill types of earth fill dams. Rock fill dams. Rock fill dams use rock of all sizes to provide stability and an impermeable membrane to provide water tightness. The membrane may be an upstream facing of impervious soil, a concrete slab, asphaltic concrete paving, steel plates, other impervious elements, or an interior thin core of impervious soil. Rock fill dams require rock or compact sand and gravel foundations that will not be subject to settlements large enough to rupture the watertight interior core. The rock fill type dam is suitable for remote locations where the supply of good rock is abundant, where the suitable soils are insufficient or high rainfall make construction of an earth fill dam impractical, or where the construction of a concrete dam would be too costly. Rock fill dams are popular in tropical climates because their construction is suitable for long periods of high rainfall. Concrete gravity dams. Concrete gravity dams are suitable for sites where there is a reasonably sound rock foundation. They are well suited for use as overflow spillway for earth fill or rock fill dams or as overflow sections of diversion dams. Historically, concrete gravity dams have survived partial and complete inundation, both during and after construction. Gravity dams may be either straight or curved in plan. The curved dam may offer some advantage in both cost and safety. Occasionally the dam curvature allows part of the dam to be located on a stronger foundation, which requires less excavation. Concrete gravity dams are generally constructed with conventional concrete. The concept of constructing concrete dams using roller compacted concrete has been developed and implemented. Several RCC dams have constructed in the United States and in other countries. Concrete arch dams. Concrete arch dams are suitable for sites where the ratio of the width between abutments to the height is not great and where the foundation at the abutments is solid rock capable of resisting arch thrust. Three types of arch dams are defined here the single and the multiple arch dam. A single arch dam spans a canyon as one structure and is usually limited to a maximum crest length to height ratio of 10 to 1. Its design may include small thrust blocks on either abutment, as necessary, or a spillway some bin where along the crest. A multiple arch dam may consist of several single arch dams supported on massive buttresses spaced several hundred feet on centers. The main advantage is that uplift at the toe usually does not affect arch dam stability because of the relative thinness through the section, both in the dam and at the concrete rock contact. Concrete buttress dams. Buttress dams are comprised of flat deck and multiple arch structures. They require about 60% less concrete than solid gravity dams, but the increased formwork and reinforcement steel required usually offset the savings in concrete. As upstream face of buttress dams is not vertical but inclines about 25 degrees to 45 degrees, so they transfer the thrust of water towards foundation. In this way, these dams do not rely entirely on their weight to resist the thrust, unlike gravity dams. Thanks for watching and let us know what do you think.